Well, you want to get in the pool? About 20 miles east of Boise, oh, no. tucked away in the mountains near Roby Creek, sits a mountain resort especially designed for nudists. People talk about having problems with stress. This is the most stress-free place you could be. It's the 25th anniversary for Idaho Bearbackers, the Treasure Valley's only club for those with an apparel aversion. The resort opened in 1991. We have a hot tub, the pool, we have our common ground, we have hiking trails that are marked, uh, sunbathing, um, whatever you want to do that's leisurely for you. The Bearbackers now have some 90 members and Terry Lawrence says the club's <laughs> about to expand. We always want members. Uh, we're always encouraging people to be here and be a part of our group. So this weekend they're putting on an open house for those who RSVP of course giving members enough time to do background checks on potential recruits, and current members believe their lifestyle will definitely attract a few. There's a freedom about not wearing clothes. Betty and Don Green started this club after they moved to Boise in the 70s. By then, they were already nudists, having joined a similar resort while living in Iowa. And I seen an ad in the paper, and I answered that, and uh, of course we'd run nude on the farm anyway, so it was just natural. I was always one to take a dare, and somebody dared me later on to go get in the pool, and it was a cold, rainy Memorial weekend, and I went and got in the pool, and that was the end of that. It seems that many members have similar stories, and often a pool is involved, and conveniently, one will be available this weekend. But aside from gaining new members, the Bearbackers also hope the event will eliminate some myths. There's absolutely nothing weird that goes on here. We do exactly the same thing that you do. You know, when night comes, you go to your camper, I go to my tent, people get in their cars and go home. Terry Lawrence says the biggest myth is that people here are some sort of voyeurs, simply looking for a cheap thrill. But she says true nudists just don't pay attention to that. Women will say things like, well, I bet there's some really hairy men up there. And it's like, I don't have a clue. And finally, while the idea of naked neighbors may appear a little odd to some, these nudists assure me they're perfectly sane. No, we're not nuts. We're just very comfortable with ourselves and with each other.